Translated by uh, Reverend Senzaki Shinyogen, uh, who lived in uh, San Francisco, New York, and uh, Los Angeles for many years. But he died about 10 years ago in Los Angeles. He was a Zen priest and a very good, uh, uh, eminent uh, uh, translator. Uh, he is, uh, published uh, this book and some other famous book. Uh, this is uh, Zen Fresh and Zen Bone. This is very good. One. So I have uh, 20 copies of uh, Tembo from this book. So uh, will you? Somebody? Yeah, thank you. I think one copy is uh, not the same copy uh, from different books. Uh, it's a medium, like this. No. Uh, Does anyone have a different copy? This one. Oh, that's it, that's yeah. it, thank you. It's uh, uh, title is ten bulls or ten oxes. The bull is a very uh, sacred animal in India. The it was uh, thought 
the messenger of the Brahman. Uh, in Buddhism, uh, it is the uh, Buddha nature. Everyone has the uh, Buddha nature in their mind. Also, uh, it is on true mind. Uh, true mind is uh, uh, suchness mind, universal mind, eternal mind. So I, everyone has it. Uh, sometimes we uh, think it, we understand it. It is enlightened mind. But uh, most of people knows the own human mind, but not the, you know, the universal mind, or a pure mind, selfless mind, oneness mind, enlightened mind, so on. But everyone has it. The most of people understand I am a different from a universal uh, nature, a universal character. I am not a pure, you know, character, so a char uh, uh, pure uh, individual, like that. The most of people have a dualistic and a realistic egocentric mind, that is human nature. But in Buddhism, Buddha said, I am not different from you. Because I have uh, no mind, no body, no uh, essence, no characteristics. Uh, I am just empty. My mind is always empty. Your mind is also empty. You have no illusion. You have no ignorance. You have no greed, no suspicion, no anger, no conceit. You have just nothing. Therefore, you are not different from me. I am not different from you. You shouldn't understand with your egocentric mind. You shouldn't understand, you know, in your way. Everything is always beyond your understanding. That is Buddha's saying. So tonight, we have, uh, we, you know, we did this koan. Koan is, uh, uh, you know, in chi Chinese words, which refers the public certificate. certificate. Uh, ancient time, when the king uh, sent a message to the neighboring countries, neighboring king, uh, they send a messenger. And, uh, you know, at that time, those messengers brought some certificate with him. Most of times, the uh, king sent, uh, you know, two or more messengers at the same, uh, uh, bringing the same messages. At that time, the messenger have a uh, uh, certificate. Usually it was a uh, no, piece of uh, bamboo, bamboo, you know, cut a bamboo about one foot and cut it into two. Then one messenger bring it, the other messenger bring another half. <laughs> then they are uh, uh, 
reach to the, uh, you know, that's uh, next uh, uh, neighboring country and put them together. Them believe, you know, they believe it is a true messenger. <laughs> that was clever. <laughs> so, you know, that's a, uh, Koan is like that. Uh, we have uh, uh, true uh, understanding uh, from the, you know, the Buddha. Sometimes people understand the Buddhism with their misjudgment, misunderstanding. So, you know, that uh, it is not good. We must understand the Buddhism correctly, you know, selflessly. That's why, you know, that uh, koan is very uh, effective, uh, good for the disciple. Uh, most of uh, them must uh, use this kind of uh, uh, certificate you know, because then is uh, trans uh, uh, missing, transmitted from the master to student. But it is uh, very doubtful because understanding belongs to individual. We cannot transfer uh, miss, you know, the own idea, own thought uh, from one person to the other. Because when, you know, that for instance, I'm talking here, but this is my understanding. When you understand it, you have uh, your judgment. And after your judgment, you conceive it, you understand it. Because my uh, experience and uh, your experiences must be quite different. No, judgment, you know, that uh, is, uh, uh, you know, discriminated by their own past experiences. Therefore, if we have uh, different experiences, we are judgment must be different. Therefore, you know, that uh, our talking, you know, that's uh, always uh, the understood by other people, by the other people, you know, that's uh, differently. That is knowledge, you know, nature of knowledge. That is nature of understanding. When we see this flower, you know, it's uh, our the judgment of beauty, uh, beauty or, you know, color or flower, uh, nature of flower are quite uh, different by the individual because our, you know, the experiences and the memories about it are quite different. Our perception are different. I, our sensation must be different. Our conception must be different. Therefore, understanding must be different. So, even Buddhism are so. Buddha's teaching understood by many, many people and disciples differently. So we have uh, many different uh, uh, schools you know, and many different uh, vehicles, teachings, you know, very many, many different uh, doctrines in Buddhism. Uh, anyway, the, this bull is, may be interested by yourself. Let's read it. So, and this uh, translator, Nyogen Senzaki, 
uh, he was a, a very uh, enlightened man in Zen. Uh, he was a Sodo, no, no, not a Rinzai priest. Uh, I was very, uh, very much ac uh, acquainted with him. I visited him many times, and he, he was uh, lecturing at uh, Stanford University once a year, about uh, uh, two months or so. When he came to uh, Stanford, he always telephoned to me uh, in uh, San Francisco, and uh, I met him and talked with him. And he gave me a very original uh, translation of Tembo to me. So uh, he was very, uh, you know, enlightened person and a nice person. Uh, so we have many different uh, uh, version, like uh, translation in English. Uh, but I like his uh, translation. So I choose his one. Yeah, will you help me? Uh, yeah, will you read someone? Will you read? Will you read me? Read it for me? Just you know the four face or uh, introduction of this uh, you know, temple. Will you do that? Yeah, please. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah, will you? The enlightenment for which Zen Yes, please loudly. <laughs> Thank you. The enlightenment for which Zen aims, for which Zen exists, comes of itself. As consciousness, one moment it does not exist, the next it does. But physical man walks in the elements of time, even as he walks mind, mud, mud, dragging his feet and his true nature. So even Zen must compromise and recognize progressive steps of awareness leading closer to the ever instant of enlightenment. That is what this book is about. In the 12th century, the Chinese master, Kakuan, drew the pictures of the ten bulls, basing them on early Taoist bulls and wrote the comments in prose and verse translated here. His version was pure Zen, going deeper than earlier versions, which had ended with the nothingness of the eighth picture. It has been a constant source of inspiration to students ever since, and many illustrations of Kaplan's bulls have been made through the centuries. The illustrations Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Uh, one person with you. Another person. Yes, anyone. Thank you. Please. The bowl is the eternal principle of life, truth, and action. The ten bowls represent sequence steps in the realization of one's true nature. This sequence is as potent today as it was when Kakuen, who lived from 1100 to 1200, developed it from earlier works and made his painting here in America, we perform a similar work eight centuries later to keep the ball invigorated. There in Kyoto, Kukuriki has done the same. An understanding of the creative principle transcends any time or place. The Ten Bowls is more than poetry, more than pictures. It is a revelation of spiritual unfoldment paralleled in every Bible and human experience. May the reader, like the Chinese patriarch, 
discover the footprints of its potential self, and carrying the staff of its purpose and divine judge of its true desires, frequent the marketplace and there enlighten others. All right, I thank you very much. Yes, uh, the Kakuan Xien, he was a person of uh, uh, 12th century in China. Uh, his master uh, was uh, 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 Seigo, Seigo. Uh, Kakuan received the picture uh, of uh, hard, uh, harding the bull, you know, a hard oxy, o oxes, or a hard bull uh, picture in which uh, uh, there are eight <coughs> pieces of uh, picture, no? and also five uh, uh, verses on it. Uh, but Kaguan uh, extended into 10 pictures, and he uh, wrote a prose, prose and verses, proses and verses on it. That, that he, you know, so he made a ten bulls picture. Uh, and also his, uh, uh, you know, that explanation uh, and the comment commentary was very, you know, good. That's why all the schools use uh, this, uh, you know, picture and uh, co uh, that's uh, explanation and uh, commentary as a koan, Zen koan. So, okay, any questions so far, please? Yes, number one, the search for the book search for the book. You know, my uh, ac you know, it's, uh, English, uh, you know, accent is very bad. <laughs> Will you read it? <laughs> I, I need help, you are reading. Okay, thank you. The search for the book. In the pasture of this world, I endlessly push aside the cold mass of the search of the book, following unnamed rivers, brought upon the impenetrating paths of the two mountains. My strength failing and my vitality exhausted, I cannot find the book. I only hear the locusts cheering through the forest forest at night. Do you want me to read the comments? Yeah, please. The bull never has been lost. What need is there to search? Only because of separation from my true nature, I fail to find him. In the confusion of the century, I leave even the track. Far from home, I see many crossroads, but which way is the right way, I know not. Greed and fear, good and bad, entanglement. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, bull is uh, own true nature. No? Sometimes we call it uh, Buddha nature. No? Buddha nature and self nature, human nature, are not there. But sometimes uh, people discriminate it into two. Buddha nature is more higher character, higher degrees, higher, uh, you know, uh, ne you know that's a sacred thing. And the human nature is more greedy and ignorant and uh, impure nature. That is bad discrimination. You know, that is a human misunderstanding. You know, people, you know, wish to grasp it, you know, wish to understand it. All human understanding are dualistic. You know, dualistic and realistic and self-centric. You know, therefore, you know, that's uh, from the, the view of a human being, you know, the 
everything uh, you know uh, uh, dual, du dual dualistic like uh, east and west are dualistic no? east and west are quite opposite each other it is not so no? when there is no east there is no west so when you go to east west always following <laughs> you <laughs> you cannot get out from west and you cannot get out from the east because west and east are one thing only people human mind you know discriminated this discriminated into two you know? just like uh, you know that uh, light and the darkness you know, they are not the two When there is no light, there is no darkness. No. Darkness, you know, they cannot de destroy the, you know, light. Light does not destroy darkness because light does not reach to the uh, darkness. No. Some people, you know, that understand light destroy you know, darkness without reaching. But that is impossible. No. So they are not two. People discriminated one thing into two. That is, in the, you know, that uh, uh, human dualistic mind. Death and life must be one. But most of people, you know, understand that life and the death are quite opposite. When life is life exists, there is no death. When death exists, there is no life. They are, you know, quite opposite each other. No, that is a very foolish idea. No? When there is no life, there is no death. Do you know dead people never die? <laughs> Living people never live are you? Of course, you know, human judgment are dualistic, you know, egocentric. That ego is uh, ignorant. That's why they discriminate one thing into two. Do you think this be uh, the flower is beautiful? Many many people <laughs> may agree. Yes. I think so, it is beautiful. Why that uh, we feel like that we, uh, we uh, have this kind, uh, kind of uh, uh, concept of beauty? Because I have uh, another concept of ugliness at the same time. When I have no ugly, uh, you know, concept of ugliness, I have no concept of beauty. Those are the two concepts, you know. You know, that's a dichotomic uh, uh, concept, allies at the same time, you know, just relatively or dependent, dependently. You know, one concept never allies by itself. But people do not know that. So, anyway, that's uh, uh, on true nature, and on other nature, you know, other same nature. Pure nature and the impure nature must be at the same place at the same time. So, you know, that's, uh, the Buddha does not arise or appears, appear in this world alone by himself, without uh, ignorant people, without uh, impassioned people, without uh, greedy people. If Buddha appears by himself alone, you know, that it is meaningless. It has no meaning. 
So, the, the, we must know the law, truth of uh, inter, interdependency. When this exists, that exists. When this arises, that arises. When this does not exist, that does not exist. When this disappears, that ceases too. We must know that. Everything are inter interdependent. No? Arising duration and cessation are also. No? We have to understand that. Otherwise, no, we are still sti stupid. No? We, we, our mind is, is not you know, developed yet. So, you know, that the happiness and the suffering are also, you know, some people just uh, are looking for the happiness and hate the suffering. That is a dualistic. There is no sub happiness without the suffering. There is no suffering without happiness. You know? Some people are seeing on the front, or, you know, they never, you know, see in the backward. Uh, that is uh, stupid, okay? Everything has uh, both sides, front and back. But, you know, some people hate to see bad side, the dark side. That is very selfish, you know, ignorant. So everything has a back and a front, you know? Everybody must have a happiness and a suffering at the same time. Suffering, you know, we have a, a sad, uh, uh, unhappy experiences. Therefore, we cognize, we recognize the happy experience, happy, happy you know, feeling. If we have uh, no bad or suffering experience, no, we have no happy experience. No? That is the human mind. But uh, on the uh, childish people, on the uh, looking for, looking after the happiness, peace, no? in the bright world, uh, you know, uh, uh, no, house side, we call it uh, partialism or partiality. So, the, our Buddha nature, our uh, uh, bull in our mind, never go out from our body. But the people, you know, that uh, sometimes, you know, that uh, our true nature, or pure nature, good nature, the went out, you know, not living and living in our mind. So we need it to get it back. <laughs> we need it to get it or catch it. That is an ordinary human mind. Okay, that is uh, number one. You know, that uh, search, search for the bull, Buddha nature. Yeah, do you have any questions so far? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Why do things seem to be, at least in our interpretation, yes, sir. so dualistic? Yes, sir. Why is, if night and day are indeed one, yes. as they cannot be, one cannot exist without the other, why does it seem so obvious to the human nature that they are in fact different? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's uh, why you, if you ask me why, you know, I cannot answer to you. I say it is it. <laughs> it is so, just so. <laughs> is it merely a flaw in human nature then? Yeah, human nature is uh, discrimination is a uh, big, you know, obvious uh, nature of the human be uh, mind. I don't know why. I don't know the flower, why flower open. <laughs> I have to say, it is it. Why is one of the tricky. <laughs> 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 yeah, thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> Any other question, please? Yeah, that is suchness. We, uh, we have another uh, doctrine of the Buddha, you know, that uh, everything is uh, such. Uh, such is, uh, you know, as it is. As, everything is as it is, as that is. It is uh, beyond our judgment or understanding, you know? Someone asked the, you know, scientist, why the automobile runs? Scientist answered, I don't know. Now, I can make, you know, the automobile, but I don't know why it works. <laughs> you know, that's, uh, we have no answer uh, to the question of why, what, how, you know, how. You know, we have no clear answer. Yes, sir. <laughs> so this is another why question, sort of, but not quite, more like why. Yes, sir. So then what is the remedy? I mean, the, in terms, I already know the answer, but it's to make, <laughs> <laughs> I already know. It's to make two into one. Uh -huh. Achieve a, a, a monism in place of that dualism. Right? Is that, would that be correct? Yeah, that's, uh, it, it tell me, uh, what is, uh, you know, that, uh, that uh, monism and dualism are quite opposite, opposite. Okay, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, though. Yeah, but uh, if we have you know, one, you know, ism, one idea or one understanding or one theory does not appear by itself, no, everything is uh, is uh, depend dependently. No, it arises. Well, then, if you have monism and dualism, both are good. I I think it is good. Yes, uh, you know that uh, uh, health is good and sickness is good. Yeah. If there is no sickness, we cannot keep up our health. No, so you know sickness is uh, very worthy. No, and valuable, but the people hate it. <laughs> that is stupid. <laughs> yeah, monism is good. Yeah, but you know, dualism is good. We have nothing to hate it. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think so. Or without evil, yeah. is good. Evil is the mother of uh, good, yes. <laughs> <laughs> evil, you know, that uh, cannot uh, arise by itself. Good doesn't arise by itself. They are helping e each other. Then arise. Evil arise, then that good arise. Uh, no, uh, uh, arises. No, good, when evil disappears, good disappears. Yes. Should yes, sir. <laughs> should should we not go straight? 
strive to avoid evil or eliminate evil or escape evil? Uh, yes, you can. That is, uh, you know, devices. So yeah, it is, uh, you know, uh, you know, so we can say uh, two ways. You know, dualistically, we can we can answer it. And uh, dualism itself is is uh, is uh, you know, of course, uh, contradictory. Therefore, you know that uh, most of people understand, you know that. Uh, uh, you know, dualism is, uh, uh, you know, partial point of view. Then they, they have no, you know, dualistic idea anymore. At that time, there is no oneness idea also. Oneness idea disappears at the same time. When yeast disappears, waste are disappears at the same time. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> okay, any other please? When does yes, sir. evil disappear? Yeah. When? 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 The, uh, you know that the good disappears. At that time, evil disappears. Disappear, you know, both are the disappears at the same time. When? You know, one at the disappears. <laughs> but he's asking you for a specific point in time. Okay, I show you. I explain more detail. Okay. You know that uh, both. You know that uh, one does not. You know the. You know that the evil and the good, you know, are you know interdependent, dependent. You know, they help each other. You know, depend. You know, good depend on evil. Evil depend on good. Okay. So, if one does not exist, the other does not exist. You know, then which comes appear first, neither. Is that right? So both is, you know, neither, no existence anywhere. <laughs> Don't discriminate it. <laughs> okay. There is no good and no evil anywhere from the beginning. Only human illusion, you know, produce it. <coughs> Is okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So, do not have any, you know, any judgment, any, you know, understanding. Human mind is so impartial that would, uh, they cannot understand anything. <coughs> All human understanding is conceptual understanding. They produce uh, images in their mind. When I uh, understand this flower, I, you know, that uh, produce the same images. Not sa not same. But you know, when I, as, as I see it, I have seen it. As I, I have smelled it, I touch it. Then, you know, I produce in my mind, you know, th this kind of images. That image is called a concept, you know, concept of the flower. But my concept of flower is not a flower. No, human knowledge of a flower is not a flower, but the, most of people do not know that. That is called the human ignorance. The Buddha said in many, many sutras. Yeah. So people have uh, many, you know, that's a suffering and uh, anxiety, fears, and uh, tragedies. If people understand that everything is a human concept, there is no real things in this, you know, anywhere. 
you know, sun, stars, moons, universe is a concept. Beauty, truth, enlightenment, nirvana, everything is a concept. Concept of nirvana is not nirvana. Concept of enlightenment is not enlightenment. Who knows enlightenment? Who can attain to nirvana? Who can attain to uh, enlightenment? All, you know? Yes, sir. For what purpose do you think people wish to define their existence? I don't know. Purpose is concept. <laughs> yes. I have no concept, I have no purpose. So make your mind clear. Just avoid. So you have no trouble. Yes, sir. So I'm not real familiar with Zen teaching. Yes, sir. Well, I guess I'm a bit confused. And on what basis do you choose to do anything rather than, on what basis do you choose any course of action rather than just sitting and experiencing oh. and doing nothing? Yeah. What is the basis of the action? Nothing is everything. What's the motivation to eat or sleep? Yeah, that is nothing. Nothing is everything. If everything is nothing, you know, all human life is nothing. But nothing is everything. All conduct is a perfect conduct, enlightened conduct. Yes. What is the basis of action, though? I understand not attaching value to anything, but how do you choose what to do given the value system and the yes, Value is only concept. There is no value anywhere. So you just do whatever you feel like, basically. Hmm? So you just choose to do whatever you want to oh, do? Oh, no, 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 no. You can't. <laughs> you can't to, to choose, you know. <laughs> this is better than that, you know. No. You know, ethics, yes. No. Ethics is a human law, m moral law. So we have a good or evil. You shouldn't do the evil conduct, and you do. You know, you should do the good conduct. <laughs> that I agree, but not in, uh, the, in uh, Buddhism. Buddhism is not, you know, moral law or a philosophy. Yes, there sir. Something called right action. Right action. Yes, that's a, an a ethic, you know, ethical, ethics. Yes, yes, yes. At the first, he, uh, uh, you know, expounded the eight noble truths: light thinking, light, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, light memory and the light uh, word <laughs> and the right uh, conduct, uh, right meditation, right endeavor. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, eight, righteousness, you know, right, right conduct. He taught that. Because uh, most of our students or our disciples at that time are dualistic and realistic like a human mind. No? Therefore, he taught. No? He talked about the precept, commandment. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't lie. You shouldn't, you know, that, uh, steal. You shouldn't kill. You sh shouldn't adult, you know, that's uh, uh, adultery. No? You shouldn't, uh, you know, tell a lie, such as. He taught that. It was very good, you know. Yeah, the moral law, precept we say, commandment we say. Yeah, he taught the same. Because, you know, if they do evil conduct, they have, a, you know, they had so many enemies, you know, force. Then they cannot, you know, that uh, contemplate their mind. Mm. 
That's why the precept is very, very fundamental, you know, the teaching in any uh, religion. Yeah. Of course it is upaya. Upaya is the fact of me, devices. Okay, how about number two? Is it okay? Okay, we, any, anyone please? Thank you. Discovering the footprints. Yes, sir. Along the riverbank under the trees, I discover footprints. Even under the fragrant grass, I see his prints. Mm -hmm. Deep in remote mountains, they are found. These traces no more can be hidden than one's nose, looking heavenward. Comment. Understanding the teaching, I see the footprints of the bull. Then I learn that just as many utensils are made from one metal, so too are myriad entities made of the fab fabric of self. Unless I discriminate, how will I perceive the true from the untrue? Not yet having entered the gate, nevertheless, I have discerned the path. Thank you. Yeah, discrimination is uh, the most uh, uh, false, you know, that uh, mistaken or inverted view, or perverted view. This discrimination. Uh, so we must, uh, we shouldn't have any discrimination. Because fundamentally, everything are uh, no dis uh, no difference. Dif differentiation is a human discriminating, discriminated by the human mind. You know, this flower has uh, many various color. You know? The blue or purple, maybe blue, white. Pink, you know, it's, uh, that is a uh, color, you know. Color does not belong to the flower itself. That is a human sensation. You know? So, you know, color is uh, just, you know, some kind of uh, rays come from uh, uh, some other light of sources. You know, it's, uh, uh, sun or moons or uh, some electric lamps, you know. So it, you know, is a small ray. You know, that is theory, of course. You know, no one knows what a ray is. You know, we call it a ray. It stimulates our, you know, eye nerves. That, you know, stimulation become, uh, you know, not only stimulation itself, it need be any many many other help helping. Then, you know that's uh, it's a uh, you know it's a concomitant, or you know it's uh, produce some effect. That effect is called the sensation or sense of eyes. So. You know, some people, you know, feel it. Oh, this is uh, brown. You know, it's okay. You know, because that is a way of feeling. You know, here, the, it is brown or blue, that is only a uh, name. People put it later. So, in uh, many people, many, many countries, there are many different languages. Uh, each language has a different, you know, names of color. So, and not only that, we have uh, 20 people, 30 people in these rooms. Each person has a different, you know, feeling of color. 
because people, you know, that um, you know that sitting here, brighter side, it's uh, you know that uh, feel clearly color, you know, color this color clearly. The darker side, man sitting in here, you know, in the darker side, it's uh, he feel is a little darker. No, it is not the same color. So there, then we know, we understand, color is conditional. So, by the each, each person, so, there is no common color, no. So, so color is a human, you know, individual feeling. So, therefore, belong to individual. We must know that. And understanding of, uh, of uh, plant itself is also characteristic. Values, you know, beauty, are individual, you know, that perception. We must know that. Understanding must be the same. Understanding, you know, uh, individual understanding. There is no common understanding. You know? We must know that. Okay, in this chapter, uh, second chapter, uh, everyone has uh, Buddha nature, but that is not enough. That is only concept. People do not know what the Buddha nature is. Buddha nature itself is unconceivable, ununderstandable. It is it. People cannot understand it. When people have uh, knowledge or you know that's a judgment, they cannot understand it. It is not knowledgeable conceivable. So Buddha nature is, is everything is Buddha nature. You know, you, you, your mind is Buddha nature, your body is man, uh, Buddha nature. And this universe, you know, from the, you know, that's, uh, you know, end to end, corner to corner, everything is Buddha nature. You cannot get out from Buddha nature. Therefore, you cannot get in to that Buddha nature. You are the Buddha nature. This universe is Buddha nature. You know? How do you know it? Human knowing is very, very, you know, how to say, that's uh, uh, delusive. Delusive. Don't try to understand anything, you know? Just you forget everything. You shouldn't have any judgment, any, you know, that's uh, uh, trying to understand. No? Why do you need to understand? Because you think of self. No? You, ha you think of self. I wish to survive. I wish to live more. That, you know, instinct. No? The make you uh, understand. Understanding is very g necessary for the living beings. Because if they do not know, you know, that uh, good or evil, or harm or harmless, you know, you cannot keep up your life, you know. Therefore, you wish to know, you know. The lower creatures do not know much uh, uh, concept or knowing. So they die, you know, very soon. But the people are more complicated, 
natural beings, living beings. So they wish to uh, survive you know, uh, very strongly. Huh? So they wish to know this is safe or this is unsafe. That is, uh, you know, the uh, starting point of the knowledge. But unfortunately, all human knowledges are misconceived, I would say, mis uh, mischievous, no? not the correct way. No? People do not know anything. That is very, very, uh, uh, you know, unfortunate, you know, fact. You know, that everything is a concept. That is another concept. So, everything is concept, you know, that you should know that. And that concept is another concept. Therefore, in Buddhism, there is no idealism. There is no materialism in Buddhism. No? Idealism and materialism in the Western you know, philosophy, they are quite opposite point of view. No? But idealism is, is uh, you know, has uh, many contradictions in that. No? Idea does not exist anywhere. No? Concept does not exist anywhere. Therefore, concept is another concept. That another concept is another another concept. You know, in the long run, there is no concept. The concept itself is imp empty. Shunyata. You know? Therefore, we the wise men have no concept anymore. There is no knowledge anymore. There is no awareness anymore. There is no knowing anymore. But they know everything from the beginning because they are universe itself. Same, same universe, you know. I, uh, my brain, you know, um, knows this is my finger, you know. But this finger is knowing, you know, I am the part of this finger. But, uh, you know, only, you know, that's, uh, uh, you know, that's uh, most of people understand. Only mind is in, in brain, you know. Mind is everywhere in our body. My body is, it itself is mind. Mind is body. But the people, you know, let's uh, uh, understand, understand in their selfish way. Where is the self? We have no self anywhere. From the head to foot, foot, tip of foot, there is no self anywhere. But everything is self. This is myself. This house is myself. This universe is myself. Buddha understood that. That's why he was awakened. <laughs> that is true awaken, you know, awakenment. That is enlightenment. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's, uh, do you have any questions so far? This is a very good topic, you know. Please make your mind clear. You are the Buddha, you are the enlightened, you are the universal, you are the eternal truth. Not the small, you know, human beings. <coughs> Cat, dog, monkey does not know. Uh, they do not know they are cat, monkey, or dog. I'm sorry, but the people knows they are human beings. 
but it is not true. No. <laughs> Yes, all this world is concept. Concept is illusion, not real. This, you know, that's a illusion is a true, true suchness. Suchness is illusion. People like a truth better than, you know, a illusion. But all truths are illusion. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but it is true, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything is is uh, you know illusion. Yeah. You have a big illusion every day. I have. Huh? So. Life is but a dream. <laughs> My life is like a dream. So this dream is a wonderful life. This life, dream, uh, you know, uh, is a you know, universal dream. This is eternal dream. So it is a pure dream. I know dream is dream. Dream doesn't bother any person because dream is not real. It doesn't harm anybody. But dream is wonderful. Dream is suchness. Dream is enlightened. Dream is uh, Buddha nature. Something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, uh, you know, ask me any discussion is good for each other. You and me, too. <laughs> yes, sir. Why do we have to live in this dream? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that is a big question. <laughs> yes, a dream is uh, un, you know, not real. No one have a dream. Do you have dream? Things are linear. Yeah, do you dreamt. That is a big, uh, you know, illusion. You cannot say, you know, experience dream. You have a memory of dream? Yes, every cell in our body has a memory. Huh. That memory is gone already. Because mem all memory is a past life, you know, a uh, conduct. So your past conduct are gone. There is no more, you know, past, you know, uh, experience here. Therefore, memory is a big illusion. Past is gone. Future does not come. There is no time at now. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you now? At now? At the present? There is no time at the present. If there is no time, can you stay? There is no time up now. Now is just, you know, that's a border between the future and the past. Because therefore, there is no time. Where are you living now? Now, or future, or past? All Neither. Three one. Neither. <laughs> Yes, I'm sorry to say that you are not living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have no time to live, no. 
<laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I don't know, no, you are right, beyond that. But if there is no past, no future, no, future, no present, no present, then our experience does not exist. Yeah, illusion does exist. Yeah, the human knowing is illu illusion. Therefore, beyond the you know, existence and the non-existence. All kind of the illusion are beyond you know, existence and the non-existence. Because existence is a human concept. Non-existence is another. Therefore, people do not know existence or non-existence, both. People know that doesn't. People do not know that. Yeah. So we must, you know, stop, you know, our thinking. Our all mental function, we have to stop. Better than better than you know that uh, uh, you know uh, thinking of uh, illusion. No, you don't need, you cannot escape from illusion. No. Illusion is, a, from the beginning, illusion is illusion. No. It is not real. It is not actual. So you cannot escape it from it. I think this uh, people, you know, that, uh, you know, that uh, produce uh, illusion, like a uh, phantom, you know, like uh, you know, some, uh, some uh, kind of ghost. <laughs> Excuse me, then illusion becomes an illusion. Illusion becomes an illusion. Uh, yeah, I can say illusion produces another illusion, yes. No? Illusion, you know, one illusion. I have uh, one illusion. That illusion becomes a cause of uh, next illusion. We can say so. So in the truth of illusion, neither truth nor illusion is illusion. Yeah, <laughs> truth is illusion. Yeah, I can say so, you know, that uh, all truths are illusion. You know, because... Uh, in the truth of illusion, then you're illusion. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, yeah, truth is illusion, yeah. Then what? But, but in the truth that everything is an illusion, uh -huh. In that truth, it becomes an illusion. Not only in, in, in truth does not become illusion. It is illusion. It is illusion. <laughs> it is illusion. Troll, keep singing. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. Well, in it, it, um, it becomes a kind of a word game, but <laughs> what, he's, what I think he's saying is that the truth expressed in the, in the sentence the truth is an illusion. That whole uh, thing, package, becomes an illusion as well. So that we don't know that it's, that that's, that that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Logical. <laughs> 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 Human, all human concepts are illusion. You see, this is a first, uh, you know, uh, uh, prom promise, no, pro <coughs> premise. Yes, sir. Is anything real? Yeah. <laughs> is anything real? That's right. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You know, everything is illusion. Therefore. You know, everything is uh, true. You know, same word, the same meaning. You know? You know, this, uh, 
if everything is, uh, you know, the good, you know, we can say everything is evil. So you're saying the form and the formless are one, are the same. Is that right? Form and the formless are is one. You know, all phenomenal uh, reality and emptiness are the same thing. Yeah. <coughs> so, wise man and, uh, and the stupid man are the same thing. No difference. Yes, sir? Isn't it huh? Yeah. We know the building is here, mm -hmm. but because we are in it, we cannot perceive what the building mm -hmm. looks like. Yeah, when we are inside the building, we cannot understand the height of the roof. You know? At the same time, that uh, this you know that the world is uh, is uh, the, our you know that, um, uh, knowledge, you know. Uh, is, uh, you know, that uh, the house itself, building itself is a knowledge. Therefore, we cannot get out from knowledge. Yeah, we cannot get out from the, how that the knowledge is so delusive, you know. We cannot say, you know, knowledge, you know, if we say, we think something, that is illusion. If we say something, that is illusion. No, therefore, we cannot get out from illusion. We are illusion. That's why we are enlightened. Illusion is itself is same to enlightenment. Illusion and enlightenment are one. No, ignorance and wisdom are one. Hatred and love are one. East and West are one. Death and life are one. No. Yes, sir? If something is understandable, why seek it? Oh, uh, if you understand everything is attainable, uh, you, know, you know that if you understand that, you don't need to seek it. You know everything. <laughs> you don't, you know, you don't need to seek anything. Everything must be one. So you don't need any practice, no. <laughs> if you understand that this whole, whole universe is enlightened, including you, you don't need to practice anything. Is okay? I think so. <laughs> okay, any other question, please? Okay, we go now chapter three. Will you help me to, to read? Yes, please. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very, very much. You know, one mind, which is uh, suchness, and the pure, enlightened, therefore, universe is the same, you know, nature. Mind and the universe are one. When there is no mind, there is no universe. When there is no universe, there is no mind. Universe is the concept of uh, one mind. You are concept of my, my mind. So you are, every of you are in, you know, in my mind as a, my concept. You know? 
if I, I, I do not know you, you know, that uh, you are not there in my mind. No. I don't know you are there. No. So if you are not there, I cannot, you know, say you are or you are not. I cannot negate you, your existence, or I can affirm, I can't affirm your existence if I don't know you. No? But some realistic people, you know, they would say, you know, even if I don't know you, but you are there. That is materialism. No? Theorism. Everything exists by itself, by themselves. Yeah. That is, uh, you know, very, very uh, childish idea, primitive idea. But advanced people, civilized people think, do not think so. So you and I are not separated. You and I must be one. No? I cannot ex you know, exist myself uh, you know, alone, by myself, without you. No? No, I am in your uh, mind as your concept. You, know, you are existing in my mind as my concept. So everything you know, are like this exist, you know, dependency, you know, dependent uh, on, <laughs> depend on each other. But, you know, st still, you know, many people understand everyone exists by itself independently. That is a very, very, you know, not, uh, bad idea, you know, childish idea. Flower exists by itself by itself independently. I'm in a, I exist by myself independently. That is very stupid. No? We shouldn't have this kind of uh, uncivilized idea or point of view. Everything are, you know, just exist. When this exists, everything exists. When, uh, you know, one exists, wholeness exists. Universe exists. When universe exists, everything, you know, in that individual exists at the same time. Just dependent, you know, you know, depend on each other or one another. That is a very typical of Buddhism, Buddhist theory. That is, a, you know, doctrine of depend interdependency. Theory of uh, or doctrine of uh, co-relativity, co-relativity. That is very good to know. If we, we understand that, we have no troublesome in the whole un world. No. If I hate you, no. You hate me naturally, spontaneously. <coughs> if I am, I, I am mad in my mind, I have anger in my mind, Every, everybody become my enemy naturally. No? So this world is a projection of my, man, man, my mental state. I ha when I have a pure mind, world become peaceful. There is no world without my mind. Mind because world is my concept. World does not exist by itself without my mind. I am not, you know, the materialist. I am not idealist. I am a 
you know, that are interdependentist. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, everything must be, you know, one but many. Many but one. One but many. Many but one. That is, you know, true, true aspect of the thing. Okay, uh, do you have any questions so far? And also, we, uh, the many people have uh, passions, their greed, attachment. Uh, but though attachment is enlightenment, not different from attachment. Or uh, not different from enlightenment. Everything are not one, not many, not two, you know, two. Everything are not different, not equal. Beyond that. Distinction is a human judgment. No. There is no distinction anywhere. Equality is another human concept. There is no equal things in anywhere. There is no same things. Therefore, you, 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 you know, people have a number, one, two, three, four, five, you know, that is uh, impossible. You know, that uh, you cannot add one apple plus one, uh, one orange. Even uh, one orange plus one orange, is, that is impossible because they are quite a different orange. If, you know, we can uh, add two oranges, one orange plus one orange equal two oranges. Now, if it is possible, we can add one apple plus one orange. But it is impossible. We cannot add this, the different things. We cannot minus, you know, that's, uh, uh, from, uh, uh, you know, same things. Yes, sir? Isn't that the nature of abstraction, though? You add Apple plus orange, doesn't that equal fruit? The concept, but the concept is useful. Do you know that the fr fruit, what the fruit is? Uh, I call it apple and fruit, or orange. Yeah. In my do understanding, it's fruit. Yeah. Do you think that the fruit is the concept of, uh, of a group of the fruit? No, it's a, it's a, a common discriminative uh, description yeah. of that. So it's... It is not actual being. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Therefore, there is no fruit anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fruit is a, is a name of the group. No? Do you know a horse, cat? That a cat is a group, is the name of the group. No? So it is not actual being. So is there any use for abstraction whatsoever? That's right. Is there any? That's okay. right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> People do not do anything, you know? Yes, ma'am. The Buddha says that we all have red blood and salty tears, and therefore yeah. we are all equal. Is this not true? It all equal? No. All different? No. Not different, not equal, no. You know, that is a Buddhistic theory. No. There is no, nothing equal each other, no. Or there is no uh, different against each other, no. no. So not different, not equal. So you cannot uh, you know, understand it. <laughs> I cannot. 
No. <laughs> so everything is beyond the human understanding. Yes. You shouldn't grasp anything. Everything is empty. So you cannot grasp it. <laughs> it has no nature, no substance, no characteristics, no, not value, no inactivities, no causes, no effect, nothing. So you cannot catch anything. Leave it. Stay them away. Okay, any other please? We have more time. Yes, will you read the next chapter? Someone? Yes, uh, 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 yes, uh, yeah, will you do that? Thank you. Catching Yeah, catching I see him with a terrific struggle. His great will and power are inexhaustible. He charges Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, this person, in this chapter, uh, man, uh, the coat, the bull. That is a big illusion. You know, the, he didn't know that, uh, you know, the bull was always with him. But he didn't know that. So, bull is a big, went anywhere. No. Buru is his true nature. No. Therefore, the true nature and uh, how to say, uh, 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 the, uh, uh, Say it's a true nature and the opposite of true nature that uh, 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 how to, I don't know how to say uh, it's the imitation in nature or uh, some nature you know that uh, defiles the nature uh, delusive nature uh, Uh, are the same nature. No? But the people, you know, that uh, uh, always see, oh, that is my true nature. That is enlightenment or satori. You know, I am not in satori yet. That is a human, you know, being mind, dualistic mind. No? Therefore, they are always seeking something, beta one, and uh, good one, uh, pure one, enlightened one, peaceful one, but it is impossible. You know? Some people always are looking after the you know peace because their mind is not peaceful. Those people always uh, think the peace is somewhere outside of my mind. So they always demonstrate on the, t on the street. Give me the peace, give me the peace. Huh? But they never <laughs> understand peace, uh, peace itself. Peace is uh, always own mind. And there is no peace un anywhere out of our mind, out of own mind. No? Peace of, or, or struggleness. Are the same thing. 
always, uh, you know, the existing in our mind. You know? the, our mind itself, true nature of our mind is peaceful, enlightened. People do not know. Some of a better peace, you know, exist, may, may, may be somewhere, you know. If people have a quiet mind, sincere mind, you know, then we can make, establish a peaceful place or a peaceful land. That it is impossible. That is a very bad imagination, illogical, unreasonable. No, it's a uh, concept. No? Peace must be one, you know, in my mind, in your mind. When your mind is peaceful, whole universe is peaceful. That is only one peace. You know, this peace is a true peace. No? So you shouldn't effort, pay any effort. Because every, everywhere is peaceful. No? You cannot get out from the peace. You cannot, you know, that, uh, get in the peaceful land. Everywhere is peaceful. Why you, the, you know, discriminate it into two ideas? You know? That is very foolish thing. We must find out own nature, true nature of my own mind. That is enlightened. That is uh, peaceful. That is, uh, you know, pure mind. That is your mind. True nature of the universe is, uh, you know, uh, ever since uh, the enlightened, nirvanic world. We cannot get out, we cannot get in. We cannot throw it away, we cannot gain or uh, get it you know, with us. Yes, ma'am? Well, you say that every, everything, when you have a peaceful mind, everything in the universe is peaceful to you or seems at peace. But what happens when your, um, when your compassion comes in? and you see someone that gets very brutally hurt or um, see a lot of the injustices or a lot of the pain that's happening. How do you deal with that? Yeah. The, you know, compassion, true compassion must be accompanied with, uh, with uh, wisdom. You know, if there is, you know, the com your compassion separated from w true wisdom, that is not a compassion. No? Therefore, you must see the true aspect of the universe you know, with your wisdom eye, not the human eye. Okay? There is no troublesome in the whole universe. It is very good, you know. You know, that's just like, uh, you know, wind blows very gently. You know, everything is uh, uh, being born and decaying and dying peacefully. Is there any, uh, any, uh, uh, how to say, in inconsistency or in uh, some, uh, uh, is there any tragedic? Tragi tragedic, <laughs> tragedic uh, that uh, happenings in the world. Tragedic. I I don't know how to say. <laughs> That's the, uh, tragic. Yeah. Tragic uh, is a happening in the uh, whole uh, world. Yeah, of course, I know many people are, you know, the painting or the suffering in the hospital. 
many old people you know have uh, getting uh, weak and you know the the suffering in their bed I know that do you think is that you know pain uh, that uh, is a uh, suffering is that you are suffering we have uh, many good painting you know that uh, the you know drawn the suffering uh, you know picture we when we go to the museum we ha we can see many you know the people you know are so suffering in the picture yes we can see it and they they are the picture they are your concept no yes ma'am if we are all interdependent it is our suffering yeah you have said that we are all one and we are all dependent and interdependent upon each other yeah then when you see your fellow man suffering or small creature suffering is it not our suffering as well yeah the all you know the creature suffering is your suffering Therefore, yeah, you are very, uh, uh, you know, that, uh, compassionate, you know. You have, that is, you are compassionate, the mind. So, that is very good, you know. Uh, but, you know, you know, can you do anything? Yes, you can. How? Huh. Tell me how we should it. We can stop the sick, sick man. We can stop the old age. Now, if we can do that, it is you know possible. No? But even you know that many old men, you know, enjoying old age. Not like that, the people think. Only when you get old, how do you think? How you understand you are old age or are getting uh, decaying, decayed? No? That is a more important point. No. Yes, ma'am. Only the physical body decays, our mind and our spirit. Decays. That's right, that's right. Young or at yes, that's true. So you are not physical. Worry about it. Yeah, physics does not belong to you. You know, mind does not belong to you. What is you? <laughs> no? Body is, uh, you know, that uh, is always changing. Okay, when uh, yesterday I ate, you know, many things, and today it become my blood and. Uh, bones and uh, fresh no small maybe other you know my, you know the element will take take place mind is also no it is changing all the time so where is the i myself why what, what what is life no life is only concept I is the only concept. Is it a real time, you know, I, anywhere? I don't know. Yes, ma'am. Well, if we can see our body changing and we can see our mind changing, there must be something that doesn't change that can be changed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's, it, maybe it's true. There has to be something to be able to yeah. say, well, this has changed. Yeah. If there wasn't something You can't say, I don't know, either. <laughs> well, where's the I? That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's a big picture. <laughs> what is I? That is a big picture mind. Like that. Yes. I, yeah, we have uh, another 10 minutes more. Will you give me? We cannot uh, finish this one uh, today. So, will you bring it next time? You know, next. Oh, 
Next uh, time uh, that uh, this building will be closed. Fourth of July. Yeah. So after next, we have the uh, same class. And will you read it at home and uh, think of it and then be enlightened? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, we finished today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.